So I've finished the the first uh, template for the uh, Atari 2600 cartridge label. Um, in this example, it's a uh, template that is uh, used to uh, reproduce cartridge labels for this style of uh, cartridge, which is made by Atari. Uh, generally has some text uh, at the top with some text down below and then in the middle some artwork with uh, model number and uh, logo. And uh, this, in this example here it's the Defender cartridge of course, um, but there are many many other uh, game titles that use very similar format. So this first uh, template is uh, just called template number one uh, and it's uh, produced in Photoshop. Um, so basically what I've done is I've scanned this uh, front label and the label which I'm calling the top label which is underneath the cartridge in this picture and uh, put it into uh, Photoshop. And um, so we end up with a scan of the the front and a scan of the top uh, label. And uh, so I'm going to use uh, over the so there over the left side of the uh, document here, and then over the right side will be the actual uh, template that is derived from this layout, these layouts here. Um, uh, but before I jump to the actual real template, uh, for anyone that's not familiar with uh, the way that uh, Photoshop uh, works, um, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown in what it's what it's capable of. Uh, so what I've got here is a uh, is a frame from the Blade Runner uh, movie from uh, 1982, and uh, this is of interest simply because we have Atari logos uh, featured in in this this shot. Um, but uh, yeah, really, what I'm going to demonstrate is the fact that uh, Photoshop is not just about photos. You can do quite a quite a bit uh, of uh, what's called compositing, which is mixing multiple images or um, images and text, and uh, producing, you know, uh, another image that uh, contains a bunch of different elements. So. Um, what you can do is actually uh, take text and uh, insert it into images like so. I'll just put a bit of an Atari, Atari text in here, just an example. Uh, give it a, make it a little bit bigger. And uh, so what we have now is we have a, an image and then um, we have some text superimposed over the top, which we can then size, move around, um, give different colors to that type of thing. So uh, yeah, Photoshop's very uh, good for that kind of thing. And uh, when you add text over the top of, let's say, an image like we've done here, um, it's actually tr the, the this, this actual document is then uh, divided up into what are called layers. And uh, the background image here is the frame from Blade Runner, and then the uh, the text layer above it is obviously the Atari layer that we just added, and um, this is the basis, or this is we use the similar um, layering to actually uh, produce a template for the uh, Atari uh, the cartridges, and uh, that's what we have here. Um, on the left, so we have the scans, the raw scans of the cartridge labels. And then what I've done is I've added a whole bunch of layers, as you can see in the layer list here, uh, that represent different elements of this cartridge label. So obviously the first part of the label that uh, I reproduced was the actual label itself. And uh, so on the right we have the, the top label. Uh, and then above it we have the, the front label, uh, which are all black in this case. Um, 
with this style of label. And um, so what? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. What I've added here is um, some some uh, some rounded corners, which are actually uh, on the label itself here. As you can see from the top label, it has a little bit of a radius here. And uh, so I've added a little bit of a radius there and uh, to the four corners of the front label as well. And then all I did was um, take each element on the original label and uh, reproduce it. Um, luckily enough, um, the, uh, the text here is, uh, is uh, made from a f using a font that is uh, you know, available today, um, and it's called Mumbo SSK. So, effectively, in Photoshop, we can reproduce the uh, text elements of the label very nicely. Um, we got Atari fonts up here and down here, and then these there's Atari fonts here, and there's also um, uh, just a more common font. I think this is either Arial or some some other font. Um, was used there. So basically what I did is I took each element, each line of text, and um, added it to the template over here. And the reason for producing a template is uh, obviously once, once uh, you know, once you've done or in the process, you know, actually produce a cartridge label, you don't want to have to go and reinvent the wheel each time. So you uh, produce a template and then you can adapt it for each uh, title of game uh, from that point on. And uh, in this example, uh, took the game program, made an equivalent layer in Photoshop, and uh, as you can see, uh, the Photoshop text is actually pure white, and uh, I assume that that's, you know, originally what the, uh, the cartridge uh, color was as well, but as you can see, it's uh, this scan of the cartridge, the uh, pure white is, uh, has either faded or gotten dirty uh, in, in 40 years. So uh, yeah, this is a little bit cleaner looking. Uh, after that, uh, just added individual elements. As you can see, we've got a trademark there, so we add a trademark layer and add it in there. And again, this is all using the Atari fonts. Uh, added a top label uh, title, a defender title there, and also a little asterisk that was at its side, so we have that reproduced. And then we'll just go up the list here. So we have a title for the uh, front label with uh, a little asterisk. Uh, use with joysticks next, and uh, edit that in there. And then label program down the bottom here is uh, part of the uh, copyright for the uh, for the label. Added that in. That's also using the Atari font. And then below that, there's a uh, a line that doesn't use the Atari font, but just a regular run-of-the-mill font uh, with a little asterisk at the beginning. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the uh, the text taken care of. Now to get the exact uh, spacing uh, correct and the you know obviously the alignment, the spacing, um, I actually superimposed the uh, the scanned label over the top of the uh, the template here so that we can see that it's uh, pretty accurate. The, uh, there is a little bit of drift um, in s with some of the uh, some of the fonts, as you can see here. Um, there's a little bit of movement between the two, and I think I'm going to put that one down. Although I could spend quite a bit of time aligning the fonts, you know, uh, the letters 100%. Um, I think probably the wandering that we're seeing is uh, due to the fact that uh, Photoshop is a digital. Um, a digital tool, whereas uh, probably the original cartridge label was produced photographically, just uh, you know, hand placing uh, fonts and you know letters uh, on, on artwork. So uh, yeah, it's it's uh, 
at least for 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 this purpose, uh, it, which is pretty accurate, it will just get run with uh, the Photoshop alignment on the uh, the fonts, and uh, I think you'll agree it looks pretty pretty close. Even if we uh, zoom in down here, there's a little bit of movement here, um, but uh, yeah, it's there's letters that are pinpoint accurate, and then there's letters that are a little bit off, and I, like I say, I think that's due to the original being hand uh, typeset versus uh, digital. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, so the next... Uh, yeah, and you can see the same thing here with the, uh, the top art. A little bit of uh, a little bit of drift, not much, just a pixel or two maybe, and for certain letters. But uh, it sure saves, you know, uh, you know, going in and uh, doing retouching on the original label, which would be which would take forever. Uh, so regenerating the uh, the text um, will save a lot of time with these things. So the next thing um, I'll be doing is uh, is actually taking the artwork from. Uh, the, the instruction manual for Defender and uh, replacing this artwork here um, which is pretty ugly it's uh, pretty uh, pretty got a lot of blemishes on it so we'll be replacing this when I actually do the template for Defender um, itself and um, we'll insert the scanned artwork from the instruction cover and uh, put it in the template here, and then add in the logo and the uh, the model number for the cartridge, and that should uh, should give us a a nice, clean-looking, bright uh, label that we can then uh, print out. And uh, once we have, once I start put it, you know, putting out these these labels. Um, I'll just throw them up onto the uh, Nano Creations website, and that's uh, that'll all be covered in the next video. The next video will be um, actually taking this template here, which just happens to be Defender, and then adding in the uh, the Defender artwork here uh, to finish off the uh, to finish off the label. And uh, yeah, that'll be in the next video. So uh, hope you'll uh, hope you'll tune in. Thanks.